guys, welcome back to my channel. So as the title of it says, this is going to be one heck of a butchered haul. We're going to have everything from like AMI clubware, which I definitely wanted to do, which I have a little bit of an issue with. I'll get to that in this video. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you just a couple things I picked up from Ross. So this is definitely not going to be like an over the top crazy haul, but you know, still wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what I got. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So we'll first start with the store that has my mother's last name and it is Ross. Probably shouldn't tell you that, but hey, you ain't gonna find her anyway. The first thing being is this shirt I am wearing right now and it's a beautiful kind of like baby poo mustard color. It's very warm, very fall. This is definitely something I have been wearing a lot lately. It has like a collared, um, like collared, duh, it's a collared shirt. It has a little bit of a like collar here and it has beautiful like gold, um, buttons if you guys can see I will zoom you in gold buttons and then on the sleeves it also has kind of like this little uh, detailing here I'm not very good at describing apparently so yeah has that it also has a little tie here at the bottom I am wearing sweatpants with this getup so please don't judge me. And on the back, if you can see, it has some pretty lace detailing. Um, I also bought this cami to kind of go underneath it. You can never have enough white camis. I always seem to um, accidentally wash mine in the dark so they turn different colors. So I need as much white camis as I could possibly get my hands on, and I'm not gonna even bother buttoning up my shirt because honestly, I'm too lazy for that right now. This mustard color shirt was $11.99, originally $26.50, and it is by the brand, I believe, Alex and Jane. The cami I'm wearing underneath was only $3.99, and it's by Derek Hart. This next piece here is my favorite. It really just makes me happy inside, but I'm having like the worst time pairing pants with it. I'm kind of going through a lower body crisis where all of my pants just don't fit. Like I got too much junk in the trunk and I don't even know what to do about it. If you guys have any ideas on what pants I could uh, pair this little um, sweater here with, <laughs> just let me know in the comments down below. So it's kind of like a sea green color and it has really long sleeves with this pretty detailing here at the bottom and it has like kind of, I guess like little flecks of gold in it which is really, 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 really pretty. Um, and then it also has like the same situation going on up here. The bottom also has like that design with the uh, kind of like taupey color, brown, whatever, with the gold. And it also is kind of like a high-low sweater, which is great because if I wanted to, I could get away with leggings, but I always struggle with, you know, moose knuckle, camel toe, so we never really go there. This sweater here is by the brand Hip, and it was $12.89, originally 32. So I think that is a pretty, pretty damn good deal, if you ask me. This next thing here is definitely gonna bring out the, uh, the rocker girl in me. Um, hold on, I'm fighting here with the damn bag. So as you can probably tell, it is a leather jacket with some nice gold hardware. I totally fell in love with this because I'm I'm terrible at like pairing things with jackets. Like it's just my weak spot. I, I'm, I'm terrible, I don't even know how to explain it. But it comes with a little like fake um, hoodie underneath, which I thought was kind of cool. So it really gives it like this really cool edge and I absolutely love it because it does the thinking for me. It zips on the inside so you could just have like this peeking through or you could go ahead and zip up the whole thing. It's just basically kind of a short um, style jacket and it also has the little, uh, whatchamacallits, what are these? Pulleys? I don't know what these are. Strings? Drawstrings? Yeah, I think that's it. And it also has these little drawstrings so you can make your hoodie extra tight. And this is by the brand Beverly Hills Polo Club. It was originally $34 and I got it for $17.99. High five, girl. So that wraps it up for what I got at Ross. If you guys were wondering what is on my nails right now, I am in love with purple, as you all know. Um, I actually got this uh, nail polish here for a dollar from the dollar store. And it is by Sally Hansen. It is part of her high definition color line in the color Cyber. Now we're going to move on to the things I got from AMI Clubwear. Now I love AMI Clubwear. Their shipping is pretty decent and, you know, I feel like they're somewhat reasonable and they honestly have like the cheapest crap I've ever seen in my life. But I ordered this stuff and I'm still missing a dress. So probably should give them a ring a ling and ask them where is my dress, but it's not here. Anyways, what was I saying? So yeah, they basically owe me a dress and I probably should call them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys the things that I did get since I'm only missing one thing. And the other thing that kind of sucks is I'm ordering online so my fat little chubby, you know, ham feet don't fit into some of these shoes, like I really gotta cram them in there, but nevertheless, I'm still gonna show you what I got. For the record, this dress here is for going out on the town. Now, I would not wear this, like going grocery shopping or paying my utility bills because honestly, 
they would think I am, you know, just crazy. So, uh, this is the first thing that I got. It is basically a really pretty hot pink kind of like faux silk dress. It has this really pretty but cheesy kind of like rhinestone detailing here and it looks like that on the back. It has the ruching on the side and honestly, yes, I know what you're thinking. Jennifer, that's very tidy, but it stretches and honestly, not that short. So that is what it looks like and then it ties up here at the top. I'm not exactly sure how much this one cost me. I think maybe like $14 or so. Um, a lot of the time I use promo codes and I just kind of like milk them dry. I'm not going to lie. It's probably why they send my stuff basically falling out of the box. Inside, we're going to go ahead and move on to these shoes. Now, the first pair doesn't fit me whatsoever, but before I go and show you, if you guys are interested in prices, I will definitely try to remember to add them below. So definitely check it out because honestly, I cannot remember right now anyway. The first pair of shoe, I'm only going to show you one because obviously the other one's the exact same, is this one by Cupid and these things are insane. My mother was like, Jennifer, I don't know girl how you even walk in these. And honestly, it don't matter because I can't even get them on my feet, but they are these faux suede, like cherry, kind of like candy apple shoes. They have a fat beast heel on them. Unfortunately, um, I'm going to have to sell these probably for less than I got them for. They are seven and a half and they look like this on the bottom. They're like a hot pink, which I really don't think matches. Like they should have did black, but I, I don't know what they were what they were going for here. But that is the first pair. The second pair here is hilarious. I totally went on a whim with these just because they were like $8 or something. Like how can you find a pair of heels for only $8? You can't, right? So I kind of went with it and you guys are probably gonna laugh because they remind me of Elmo a little bit. And they are these fuzzy peep toe red pumps by um, Burles Burelli's. I don't, I don't understand this name here, but the inside's really pretty. It's kind of like a chrome gold or a metallic gold. And this is what the bottom looks like. They aren't that high, and honestly, from far away, you kind of can't tell that they're like almost fur. So I'll definitely wear these. These do fit, thank God. But uh, yeah, just wanted to go ahead and share these with you guys. They're kind of funny. These next ones here, thank goodness they fit because I am in love, in love, in love with these shoes. Like, ah, I can't even get over it. But they are just basic suede <laughs> black pumps with color blocking. So we have like a royal blue and then we've got like a, a forest blue or kind of like a teal even um, here. And then the heel is all teal. These are by something or other I'll have it in here because I just suck at remembering names but the sole of them is super super duper 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 sturdy which I love because I have, cannot tell you how many times this is embarrassing that I have you know done splits in the street or damn near broke my face on the concrete I mean just I need a solid heel because Jennifer is just not very graceful in heels period so that's what these ones look like the last pair of heels are also one of my favorites. They're just by the AMI Clubwear brand, and they are Zebra Girl. I wanted to bring out my wild side because I am definitely a wild child. So they are just Zebra. Um, they have a really awkward like material, and I can honestly see that these are going to get so, so dirty. So this is definitely kind of like a going out shoe or a who the heck cares? I'm wearing zebra today shoe. One of the two. The bottom of the shoe is super duper gorgeous and I definitely think it complements the rest of the shoe. And it's kind of like that Lou, Louis Vuitton or Louis, Lou, Lou Vuitton. I don't even know how to say his name. It's that guy with the, you know, the classic red um, sole. Sole? Yeah. I can tell that it's totally inspired by that, but personally, it really doesn't bother me, and I think it kind of complements the rest of the shoe, so why not? The last thing I got from AMI are these boots, and I absolutely freaking love them. They're kind of cheesy, kind of weird, but they are just so cute and super duper duper luscious and perfect for fall. They are like these gray, kind of like Goku looking boots, as my husband puts it. They are also kind of like a faux suede, very, very cheap material, I'm not gonna lie. These are also really inexpensive, maybe $9. The inside's kind of cool because it has like this kind of like fur kind of material. It's obviously not real fur by any means. And the cool thing is is that you can go ahead and kind of make these really, really slouchy so they sit like this, obviously with not that in the back, but they kind of sit like that. Or you can make them really tall like up to your knees and roll them down as well. Here's a better view of what they look like. And this is what the bottom of the sole looks like. So I think that about wraps it up for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway, even though it's not that big or whatever. If you guys have any hauls or anything that you want to share with me, of course, post it as a video response down below because I am literally addicted to watching these things. Also, I wanted to go ahead and throw out there that I got a new phone. And what that means to you is, is that 
I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in like a what's in my phone video. I'm going to go through and like show you all my applications, what a girl uses, and things like that. If that's something you'd be interested in, again, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. So that wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you all on the flip side.